In this segment, we'll discuss video-centric tools such as effects, compositing, and graphics. Farrell is going to give us an editor's perspective on these tools. Thank you, Farrell, for joining me here today. Thank you very much for having me, Alex. I've worked with many of the other editing tools in the marketplace, and I really have to say that the creative tools inside of EDIUS 7 really set it apart, and I'm happy to share some of those with you here today. Um, EDIUS includes powerful filters such as 10-bit color correction, so in this project here, I've got uh, two interviews that I did, and I shot it with two different cameras. In uh, this case, one was an FS100, and the other was a 5D Mark III. Uh, the uh, scene files, obviously, are a little bit different between the cameras, and I've got to come in here and color correct those to make the looks between them uh, you know, kind of spot on. I want it to look right when I uh, go between shots. So as you can see here, I've got one shot and the other. Now, to color correct, I'll start with a uh, couple different tools here. We've got color balance, and color balance is simply as you would think it is. Chroma, brightness, contrast, and then uh, overall color shifts between the different uh, major color spectrums. This is a great tool for overall uh, color changes that you need to make, but if you want to make more specific changes, you can use this, the three-way color corrector and a lot of you may be very uh, used to what this looks like. It's a very simple uh, three color wheel. Uh, I've got the ability to uh, change my blacks, my grays, and my whites. One of the really amazing things inside of EDIUS is the ability to limit the color in which you're going to change. So by setting the hue, saturation, and luminance, I can actually change the colors only of that particular color source that amount of saturation and this amount of luminance. And so then when I go in here and change, it only is really affecting, as you can see in my source here, the face. So I've specifically selected that as the color that I want to just get perfectly correct with my other shot. Once I'm happy with the look, I'll go ahead and hit OK. The filters um, can also be applied together or standalone, and you can instantly preview them without rendering. So as you saw, right here as I'm changing, I can hit play, watch the clip, and move it around, and I'm seeing instantly without having to render those color changes. You really can't do that with any other product out on the market. In EDIUS 7, there is a new Gaussian blur filter which allows you to apply high quality blur in real time, and let me show you how. I take the Gaussian blur filter, which is right here under my video filters, place it on the clip I'd like, and simply select it. I can then go in and make the changes I, I want to make to it. So this seems you know, quite overly blurred at this point. I don't want that much. Maybe I'll take it back here, and I'll watch it. Watch the clip as I do it. And I can make adjustments and see what it looks like as I'm doing it. That's about right. I like that. And without having to render, I can play that back in real time. What's also great about it is you can add keyframes. So if I want to create a soft focus reveal, I can simply add a keyframe to the beginning of the clip, and then at the end of the clip, make it nice and clear. And now when I play it back, it's as if I did a rack focus. Amazing, again, in real time. Images can be layered using alpha and chroma key filters as well. Also, graphics can be implemented directly as image sequences or video with alpha directly to the timeline or using the quick titler tool. For example, I have this graphic with an alpha that I've layered over a, a, a video layer that I'm just going to watch here, no rendering again, in real time. That animation happens, the video plays back. I haven't had to do anything special for that. Third-party graphic tools are also available for adding 3D and animated graphics. Some of these include ProDAD, NewBlue, VideoStar, and Boris. On this clip, I've used the hieroglyph filter, and you can see it play back without having to render. The mask tool is also available for masking parts of the video or applying color correction to certain areas of the video. For more sophisticated color correction, such as for prime time programming or feature films, 
EDIA supports workflows with DaVinci Resolve by means of EDL import and export for advanced color grading. So as a producer, I know that when using EDIUS, I will be able to implement advanced video filters directly on my timeline, either through built-in effects or with integrated third-party effects without having to render. So be sure to download the free trial of EDIUS and enjoy the 10-bit color correction right at your fingertips. Thanks, Farrell. And to get more info and watch other tutorials, be sure to go to our website at www.grassvalley.com slash